Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is not such a rare disease um, as has been taught. We also know that the incidence increased uh, massively in the last 30 years, so it's really important. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a progressive and relentless disorder. That means that it um, damages irreversibly the normal lung tissue. So that is why we should try to make a diagnosis as soon as possible. And I think we need to involve all, everybody, general public, patients, relatives, GPs, um, pulmonologists and specialists in interstitial lung disease. It's important that um, if uh, a patient has some shortness of breath, um, that you also see whether there is some cough, um, if there is any finger clubbing, that are all signs pointing to fibrosis. It's important if um, anybody, a healthcare provider, listens to the lungs and he hears bilateral basal crackles comparable with opening uh, a Velcro, um, that they realize that this is serious. Or it's heart failure which is serious, or it might be pulmonary fibrosis and this is a serious problem and action should be taken, the patient should be referred to the pulmonologist. So. Um, Treating patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is crucial. We have now efficacious antifibrotic drugs, which has been proven to work. We should realize that pulmonary fibrosis decreases the normal um, lung tissue, it decreases the pulmonary function, it decreases exercise capacity, and it decreases survival. So we should act, and we should act early. We cannot wait till there's already quite a lot of damage in the lungs. So what we should do is, when the diagnosis is made, we should not wait till uh, pulmonary function tests further drop, till the patient has a reduced exercise capacity even more. From the first symptom, the first sign of pulmonary fibrosis, it's important to start treatment and to do everything possible to stop or uh, prevent further decline after lung function.